Hi friends, it's Miss Tracy here, and I'm here to show you our Bible lesson for today. And it comes from the Bible, which we know that all the stories in the Bible are true. And this comes from the book of Acts, and it is um, chapter 16, verses 9 through 12. Well, in this story, um, it's about Paul, and Paul had a dream. And in this dream, um, he was told by this man to go to this certain town. And so he wakes up from this dream or this vision, and he decides, you know what? Um, this was a message from God. I should go to this town. So he goes to this town, and he comes to a place where there's people that are praying. So there were a bunch of women, and they were praying. And there's this one woman, and her name was Lydia. And Lydia was, Lydia was a seller of purple cloth. Okay, I'm wearing purple today because of Lydia. And so Lydia was a seller of purple cloth, and he shared about Jesus. And you know what? God had been working on Lydia's heart, and she was willing to listen, and she listened, and she accepted Jesus as her Lord and Savior. She followed him in obedience and was baptized. So she was baptized, and then... She went home and she shared, she was bold and she shared with her whole family. And you know what? Her whole family accepted Jesus. And then they all were baptized too. And then she also, she asked Paul and his friends if they would come and stay with her. She said, come and stay with me. I'm going to feed you and then refer. You, you could be refreshed so you can go out and you can tell more people about Jesus. And so that's what she did. Isn't that a wonderful story? Well, you know what? Our pastor has asked us all if we would pray every day in May, okay? And along with that, okay, we're supposed to be praying. We're supposed to be praying for our family and our friends and our neighbors. We're supposed to be praying that they will accept Jesus, and we are supposed to be bold. You know what? The Bible tells us that we are supposed to be bold, and we're supposed to go out, and we're supposed to share Jesus with everyone. So you know what? I'm going to challenge you to do that. Call up your grandma, grandpa, or your aunt, your uncle, your friend. Go outside. See your neighbor. And you know what? Share Jesus with them. Share the good news, just like Paul shared with Lydia, and then Lydia shared with her family. You can do the exact same thing. It's really easy, okay? So, number one, you just tell them that God rules, okay? Uh, the Bible tells us that God created everything. We're all his, every single thing he created. And you know what? We sin. We all sin. All of us are sinners, every single one of us. We all sin. We all do bad things. Sin is bad things. It's anything against God. Okay? We do that. But you know what? God provided a way to be forgiven for that sin. All right? So he sent Jesus for us. So Jesus came. He lived a perfect life. Okay? Perfect. He didn't sin. He was God's son. And God sent him. He sent him. He died on a cross, and then he rose again because Jesus gave up his life for us so that we can be welcomed into God's family. And that's the good news. That's the good news that we need to share. Okay? And you know what? Number one, pray about it first. Make sure you pray about it first. Don't just go talk without praying. Okay? You pray about it. And God will set the scene. He will prepare that. Believe me, Paul prayed before he went. And you know what? Lydia prayed. She was praying right then whenever Paul came to her. And she accepted Christ, and then her whole family did. What a wonderful, wonderful thing. You know what? I'm going to give you this game to play this week also. So, purple. I want you to see if you can find something purple in your living room, in your bathroom, in your bedroom, in your kitchen, and also outside. 
can you find something purple in all of those places? And remember, every time you see something purple, think about it and say, you know what? I need to be bold and I need to share Jesus. It's as simple as just letting people know that Jesus loves them. Jesus loves them. Okay? Check back with me this week. And on Monday, um, we can check back here, and I'm going to give you some questions and connections. That's for older kids. On Tuesday and Thursday, I'm going to have lunch with Miss Tracy. That's um, specifically for preschoolers. I have a preschool lesson and some fun stuff for them. Older kids can check in if you want. That's fine with me. Um, and then on Wednesday night at 6 p.m., we're going to have Zoom bingo again. And uh, we were interrupted last week, but we're going to do it again this week, and it's going to be great. So uh, stay tuned right after this, and you can see the progress on Earl the Duck. He's getting so big. See you soon.